so welcome back to the channel <laughs> now I know you might have some questions but I'm gonna ask that you don't raise your hand until I finish speaking so that I might explain myself and in doing so my I, I might answer your question I'm sure everyone's burning 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 question is where have I been well you know I've been I've been in the world of Resident Evil for a little while and I thought it's time to break break back into mainstream gaming hence Doki Doki uh, Doki Doki Literature Club Question number two is where's Flame Over? And um, you see the thing is, right? Had a bit of falling out with the Flame Over devs because I didn't like the direction they were taking the game in. So I um we had a bit of falling out. So they're not sending me any new test packages for the new games at the moment. It is what it is. I've been writing them emails all the time, but yeah, they just they don't want to hear it. I betrayed them in their eyes. So instead we're going to move over to uh, to this. So question number three is why this, I imagine. Now I was told that this is a horror game. And I can't, for my right mind, see where. So we're going to find out together. What I will preface this with is, there was about 15 screens I had to click through to get to this main menu that said, this game deals with themes such as, well, I'm not going to provide you spoilers as to what enjoyable themes we're going to get onto, but it, it has themes. It has themes. It then came out of a panel saying all of these girls 18 years or older, which I thought was rather interesting considering they're all wearing school uniforms. Just to clarify, I don't find any of these people attractive. I'm here only for the sole sake of finding out why this is a horror game. The the third screen was don't play this unless you're age of 18 or over, which is fantastic. Uh, and then it had a, uh, another option for me to disable graphic content. We can all just guess what I did with that option. And that's about it. I think that's there's not really more else to say other than to just begin so that's what we are going to do new game I've got to enter my name I'm not going to put my real name in because that would just be really weird so instead we're going to go for our king chairman Mao. <clears throat> all right let's go oh boy hey <laughs> I see an annoying girl running toward me from a distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbour and good old friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school we would oversleep more frequently and I would get tired of waiting up. She's going to chase me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in the front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Oh great, here we go. I'm not doing voices. Too quick of a way to get banned or, or put in jail, so we're not doing that. You overslept again, oh no. But I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eee, eee, you say. Like you were thinking about ignoring me. <laughs> that's mean Mal. You know, Mal did a lot of mean things. And I don't think that's one of them, lad. <laughs> well. Sayori, if you have pots and pans for the Chinese steel war machine, then, uh, well, if people stare, accident, I think, well, a couple of things. Cool, right, can we go to school now? You did wait for me after all, but I guess you didn't have to mean in if you didn't want to. Yeah, cool, yep, great, can we go to school now? Whatever you say. We're going to be late. You just said we're going to be late. Let's go to school. We brush streets together and make our way to school. We draw near the streets, become increasingly speckled with our students making the daily commute. By the way, Mal, did you kill any landlords? Have you decided to join the club yet? Club for brutal, bloodthirsty dictators. Not interested in joining. I don't want to join any damn clubs. You told me you would, you would join a club this year. Yeah, I'm going to join the 50 million plus dead club. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did. A conversation is dismissed. I believe Shamal might be the only one of that club. Possibly Stalin. I don't think Hitler killed that many. Uh, Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting on by the average or spending my free time on games and anime. That hit a little hot, a little too close to home. Uh, I was talking about how I'm worried you won't learn to socialise. Okay, 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 we get it. <laughs> too close to home. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. Uh, neat. <laughs> I'd die for you becoming a neat. <laughs> <laughs> a few years. That must have different meaning in, in the context of this as to what I understand the meaning of a need to be. Yes, real world, you trust me, right? Don't make me 
keep worrying about you. Oh my god, are we gonna go to school? Unlike you, I have aspirations. Which happy, no promises so I need to start learning political theory if I'm to take the take the uh, take the head of this country. At least promise me to try a little. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, I promise. I'll kill some landlords. Woo! Ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. If I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall. Do we all do that sometimes? You know, you just like stare up at the ceiling when you wake up and wonder what it's all for. Stare at the walls while someone's talking to you. Just wonder why why it is that we're put here. That's why I cover my walls with posters of Anya Taylor Joy. So at least when I'm spacing out thinking about nothing. I'm looking at something nice. Anyway, after I go back up my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sorry once you check out some clubs, I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Really? There's probably loads of clubs, you could start anywhere. Deku! <laughs> but could he be Bo Goku? Tatsuki, Tatsuki, Tatsuki. Eden, Igor. Oh my gosh, I can just imagine what this place is like. It's just like that. You found a literature club, eh? Yep, okay, yep. It's a literature club, isn't it? No way, I'm going to your club. You could say Chairman Mao was a bit of a meanie. You could probably get away with saying that. I'm losing so much social credit making this video. I don't know why I decided to do this. When I take over the world, I'm going to be... I'm going to be lined up with the rest of the Kulaks and the Bourgeoisie. Ah, <sighs> fine. I'll come for a cupcake. It has to be red, though. It has to be a red cupcake. Alright, let's go. And thus today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. Wow, that was incredibly poetic. Maybe you do belong in the literature club. I dejectly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, a new member is here. I told you, don't call him the new member. Glance around the room. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is bad news, man. This is bad news. This is bad news. I shouldn't... I need to make sure that my face is shown nowhere within my, within my channel because this is bad news. Welcome to Literature Club. It's a pleasure to meet you. Or meeting you. Whatever. Sorry, I always say nice things about you. Oh, there's, an oh, there's another one. Oh, gosh. Oh gosh, way to kill the atmosphere. And another one! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> this is such a mistake. <laughs> Need the horror to start now. <laughs> Need the horror to start now. Maybe the horror is having the SWAT team burst through your door. <laughs> Welcome to the club. Yep, I'm here to read you all some marks. Uh, all words escape me in this situation. This club. Full of incre oh no, it's not. It's not. It's full of incredibly. Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? It's full of very a lot of very nice people who grow up to be fine young women, but right now they are not as is described in that text box. <laughs> I don't care that the. The, the, the thing even said they're all over the age 18 because they're clearly not. Okay, they're not. They had to say that for legal purposes, which makes this even worse. <laughs> it means what's coming up is going to be even worse. <laughs> I might have to scrap this. If if it gets a bit much, I might actually have to just scrap this. <laughs> if you want to say something, say it. Natsuki. Okay, for we know that's Natsuki. So what's the purple head one called? I'm just gonna... I'm gonna... I, I, I'm not really good with names, especially Japanese names. So I probably should end up calling you Pink. You purple and the other one brown. Sayori, I can't remember. Her uh, small figure makes it look like a first year. So how do they swindle that they said that these all over the age of 18 when it clearly says first year? First year of high school. So what, you're 13? Probably even younger than that, actually. What's the one who made cupcakes? Just ignore her. Your red bow. You just ignore her. She gets moody. Oh, that's Sayori. Right, okay. <laughs> Quite into my ear and turns back to the other girls. Anyway, this isn't Suki full of energy. Good. We need people full of energy for the hard times to come during the revolution. How are you all with rifles? This is Yuri, the smartest in our club. Don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears 
comp comparably more if you hear no noises it's me i'm throwing a bottle up and down it's a bo glass bottle for the sweets hear that i'm just throwing it in case you started hearing noises i figured that I, I, this isn't the kind of game you want to start hearing background noises to yuri who appears comparably more mature and timid seems to have had a hard time keeping up with people like sorry and Asuki. well it's nice to meet you guys i guess it's nice to be in the same room as you can we talk about books now Oh my god, yeah, hello Monica, great, yep. It's good to see you again, yep, cool. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. Get off the screen. <laughs> Get off the screen. <laughs> oh, man. Smart. Athletic. I'm not saying that middle one. Basically, completely. Okay, yep, cool. Yeah, I'm not interested in this. Yeah, I'm gay. Chairman Rao's gay. Come sit down, man. We made room for you at the table. You can sit next to me or uh, I'll get the cupcakes. Okay, yeah, Pinky, go get them. Oh, Papa's here too. Make some tea as well. Yeah, go on. Can we talk about books now? This is a literature club. It's not like I haven't heard this somewhere before. I made them for you or any. Oh my god, nah. I thought this was a horror game, bro. <laughs> I had it on good authority that this was a horror game. Not, not the, not the, not the pink head first year. No way, <laughs> no way. All right, I give up. Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yep. Great. That's. Oh my god, this is so bad. Why are you all vying, vying for Chairman Mao's attention? Have you, have you ever, have you not read a history book, ladies? <laughs> Maybe that's what we need to do in our literature club. Read a history book. Maybe you consider the literature club because I like reading books. At some point, are we gonna read some books? Well, I haven't joined any clubs. That's okay, don't be embarrassed. Make you feel right at home. Can we read some books now? <laughs> this is your club. It's my duty to make the club feel fun and exciting for everyone. So, can we read some books? I just want to sit down and read my book. I don't want any more of this. Uh, something special. So, do you read books? Because I've not seen any books yet. There isn't even any books on the screen. Look, look, there's literally no books on any of these desks. I'm not sure about that shelf at the back. That looks like that might be books, but they look maybe they're blank ones because they're all the same. We'll do our best. Cool, yep, cruise some books. In the same goal. That goal being to read books, right? So why have we just sat around talking and eating cake? Yeah, I suppose that is pretty cool. I read a book about trees recently. This is actually true. I did actually read a book about trees recently. They are fascinating. I read about ancient growth forests, right? And the reasons that they, they grow so well right it's because these ancient trees really really old trees in the like little nooks and crannies and on the on the branches and near the top of the tree they grow all of this moss right all this moss grows on the trees and you don't get this in like new growth forests only ancient growth forests and what happens is those that those mosses they produce nitrogen and when it rains all that nitrogen runs down obviously gets washed off the tree it runs down the trunk into the soil and it f makes the soil really fertile around the tree how interesting is that they have that all the trees are connected from the wood wide web all these like fungal filaments acts like a brain and they can like trade nutrients and, and information they can tell when predators come in really interesting stuff so i actually came here to talk about books not cake but you know i like lots of things stories of deeps so, oh yeah cool does anyone here wrote any books about trees sayori yuri pink hair the one that keeps doing that really inappropriate pose anyone trees horror i was reading horror I read a horror book Desperately grasp something I can relate at a minimal level. At this rate, Yuri, you might as well be having a conversation with a rock. <laughs> That's actually quite funny. I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. Someone as gentle as you. Oh god, this makes me feel sick. But if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I can replay it down. Sure, horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. I tell you, I did read a book once that made me change my opinion of the world. Uh, before we get back to this, it is the Old Man and the Sea, it's a super famous book. I imagine everyone's read it. It's only like eight pages anyway. The so uh, I'm going to spoil a warning. If you don't want to know how the with the narrative of the book, maybe skip forward like a minute or two, maybe three, actually a couple of minutes. Essentially, right, the book is about a a like really really old fisherman, right, and he goes out. And all of these other fishermen catching like these shitty little fish in the shallow water, right? And he goes way out into the ocean, way, way out into the ocean. And he he gets this massive fish on the line, like a fucking shark, like a big old fucker, big, big fish. 
and he spends the book is about like he spends like three days wrestling this fish right Th like three days wrestling this big old fish while he's fishing that fish he catches other fish and eats those fish and he's out there for like three days just he's just working it out he's cranking this fish and eventually he catches it right it's massive it's the biggest fish he's ever caught in his whole career and it's this really old man and he's gonna be like great this is gonna be huge everyone's gonna love this fish it's gonna sell for loads you know it's gonna be my my defining moment in my career so he straps the fish to the side of the boat he then starts to take the boat back into back into shore i'm sure it was something like he had this like hook or an axe or a sword or something that he'd kill sharks with and he like dropped it in the water or something at some point in the narrative so he couldn't fight off sharks so as he's as he's sailing his boat back to shore with this huge catch, his career catch, sharks just bit by bit come and nibble at the fish as it's strapped to the side of the boat. And by the time he gets back to the dock, there's nothing left of the fish that he caught. So the moral of that story is, and the, the really the takeaway for life is, don't really work that hard on anything because, you know, by the time that you come back to shore, it's going to be gone. <laughs> so <laughs> that's my contribution to the book club. Trees and depressing life. Uh, life lessons about fishermen and fish. I understand how she feels. Showing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is to writing to oneself. Well, yeah, that's absolutely true. I agree with that. You know, if you seek the truth, someone look no further than their pen, right? All that stuff. You know, people write, they translate the weight from what their brains to the shelf of the lines of a page. Right? Why would you share that with anyone? You must be willing to open up your readers, exposing it, blah, 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 yeah, cool. I literally what I just said, but reworded. Uh, do you have writing experience too? Uh, maybe if you have some work, an example of Natsuki, you feel comfortable enough to share us. Yeah, I don't want to read your fantasy book, thanks. Uh, oh, I wanted to read everyone's... Oh, my God, we all sit in silence for a moment. Oh, stop it! You're just bait! Please stop! <laughs> I have an idea, everyone. Let's all read our stuff, right? Let's all go and write a poem. Okay, I'm going to write a poem about... The old man in the sea. Next time we meet, we'll share them. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision? Well, you're a man of your own mouth. You probably didn't get to where you were in communist China by by giving in to peer pressure. If anything, you're the one that provides the peer pressure. That is, if writing prunes, price I pay, it would have spent day with these um, intelligent young women who have not quite grown up enough. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join a literature club. One by one, the eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy. Sorry, wraps her. Oh, no. No, she doesn't. She doesn't do that. We'll skip that. That didn't happen. Hey, you really did scare me for a moment. You really did come cupcakes. I would have been super pissed. Did she just swear? Bro, you're like seven. Is pissed a swear word? Pissed is a swear word, right? Stop doing that, please. That makes it official. Um, yeah, I'm part of the literature club. Great, cool. Can we actually read some books now? Hey, Ma, since we're already here, do you want to walk out? Yeah, okay, we live next to each other, let's go. Can't hurt, right? Tokyo Avengers are out there beating people up. We should probably uh, probably go home together. I'm not part of the Tokyo Monji gang, so... It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favourite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem most. <laughs> should we try psychotic poems? <laughs> The massacre in the eternal massacre <laughs> an agonizing eternal massacre <laughs> oh that's great oh that's really really great but there's a rainbow <laughs> and we all and there's fireworks <laughs> And of course, entropy. Energy that was given to people's return to the earth. <laughs> I am unstable. <laughs> I have so much anger. <laughs> All of the scars. <laughs> My anger is unrestrained. <laughs> And the human race is a contamination on the earth. But I do it all with a smile. <laughs> I despise these people. I will see their crimson blood 
pour forth like a waterfall down their broken bodies. They will know my wrath. And when their souls, when I leave their bodies to fester, I will take a great deal of pleasure from it. It's like a vacation for me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I think we're going to stop it there for the first episode. So, <laughs> we're going to see what the reaction to our psychotic poem was <laughs> next time. I uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Ciao. <laughs>